What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper Day, bringing you guys a video we're going to be jumping right into what we're going to be talking about today. If the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop can handle Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, it comes out in October. The trailer was just released today, um, or uh, yes, I said it was released today. It was just, I loved the trailer. It was amazing. You guys should go check it out. Cannot wait for the game. But we're talking about can the HP Pavilion run it. What you're seeing now is the minimum requirements for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. These are pretty much the same as Warzone. We'll be showing you Warzones here next. So these are the minimum requirements. As you can see, Warzone minimum requirements are the same. Uh, the pretty much, you know, we got the Windows 7, 8, and of course 10, 64-bit operating system. We got the i3, uh, the HP Pavilion has an i5, so we're fine on that. 8 gigabytes of RAM. I have 16 gigs of uh, RAM in my build, but typically they come with an 8 gigabyte. And of course the GTX 1650 uh, for the GPU graphics card. So what we're going to be talking about here in the next little... Uh, portion right here is this is my build so everything you're seeing this is my build on the HP Pavilion the only thing different between you guys is you'll probably have 8 gigabytes of RAM instead of 16 and if you do that's fine you can upgrade for pretty cheap it's only about $50 and you can upgrade that sort of thing to the 16 gigs of RAM and it will help your system overall run better again these are the war zone minimum requirements uh, now that we're going to jump in we're going to be uh, talking about um what we're going to be showing you Warzone content of Rebirth on the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. So as you can see here, this is kind of what I so I put the uh, settings about to low and medium. So the settings are on low and medium in this portion of the video. Um, this is a little bit or later gameplay, like earlier on actually when the uh, it, it's been a while since I uh, did a video on the. Uh, Rebirth. I did one recently, but I didn't have any like screen recording. It was just me showing you like the laptop playing. So this is kind of an older video uh, of Rebirth Island, but it still plays the same. Actually, if anything, uh, it plays relatively this a little bit better actually now that I've messed with some graphic settings. So I pretty much keep everything on low and medium, like I just said. Um, and I do turn VSync on, so I don't I have VSync off on this this particular video, but I usually turn VSync on. What I'm trying to get across here is, it, can the model, uh, can you know, the HP Pavilion handle Model Warfare 2 Remastered? 100%. Yes, it's going to be able to run it. It runs Vanguard, and it can run this um, uh, Warzone, and the, they pretty much have these same overall the same requirements. And so, 100%, it's going to be able to play. I am going to be doing a video when it comes out, but I just wanted to, you know, uh, let you guys know and kind of talk about it now that the you know trailer's released and uh, it's a lot of hype around it. Can't wait for it. Again, I will be doing a full length video on Modern Warfare 2 Remastered on here when it does come on or when it does release. I'll try to do the beta if I can get uh, access to the beta. Hoping I uh, get access to it. I can uh, do a video for you guys then early on and then talk about the game in general. But yeah, so the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop will have no issues probably running Modern Warfare 2. Again, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, when it gets to that point and actually releases um, But I mean it plays Warzone and Vanguard perfectly fine as you can see here in the video I have tons more videos if you guys want to go check that out on my playlist um, I have of course Vanguard plenty of Vanguard videos plenty of Warzone videos rebirth videos Caldera all that all the maps or Caldera and rebirth um, And everything like that I have tons of Call of Duty videos on it as well like Black Ops all the Black Ops I think I have Black Ops 1 2 and 3 I think I even have, I don't have four yet, but I do have three. So I have all those tests on the HP Pavilion. Again, the HP Pavilion does, uh, you know, the, you can look up the minimum requirements for any game, as I just showed you guys. Just a quick, uh, quick Google search, and it will show you the minimum requirements. And as you can see, the HP Pavilion gaming laptop should have no issues running it. It runs these, and the, this, this is just kind of to show you guys, obviously, the minimum requirements are the same for both games, pretty much. And obviously, this is playing Warzone fluidly, so it will be able to play War Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. I'm really hyped for the game, and I hope you guys are too when it comes out. Again, I'll be doing full-length videos on that on my um, on my YouTube channel. I'll be doing for again the HP Pavilion and just some general videos and you know general talking about the game. Really hyped for it. Can't wait to play it in October. I do plan on pre-ordering again. I'll try to get access to the beta and show you guys early on some uh you know some little tests and stuff like that and videos on it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave me some comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching <laughs>